All right, welcome on back to some Minecraft musings. Uh, sorry, Minecraft musings. The two taboos. So I got to be careful because my last video it got taken down, and that's fine. I, I watched it, and I I, I kind of understand where they're coming from. Even though overall I would say I'm agreeing with them on being careful with people doing that, but you know what? Hey, like. I did try to say like exact specifics, which I'm going to be intentionally vague, like because I don't want to get in trouble again. But um, and it was just a warning, and you know, and I really should be careful about saying things like this or that or like declarative statements on subjects that I'm not an expert. I mean, I usually try to say they're my opinions, and that's totally what this was too. I was kind of joking about how like how not dangerous something was that's been proven to be not dangerous. Um, and I've had it, and that's about as far as I'll go with all that, so, either way, you know, that's fine, we move on, but, uh, that does bring up a good point, you know, what should I be a little more knowledgeable about? Now, a lot of the things that I do say, like the facts and statistics that I do try to repeat, I tend to say that I, I looked them up on Google, like I found an article, it's usually one of the top articles that's most relevant. And the more you Google, the more you'll realize that um, the lower you go down in the search results, they really are less relevant. Like, I mean, uh, we did a project in school that used cosine similarity, and it was this kind of like math equation to tell how relevant something was. And yeah, and I, I did an assignment in a class on that. I don't remember what grade I got on the actual program, but I, I understood the concept. But, I mean... I didn't understand how math related, though, actually, now that I think about it, because it had, like, sine, or I guess no cosine, I mean, being the cosine similarity, and I haven't touched any trig for decades, I don't think, not intentionally, <laughs> like, I'm not, like, finding diameter, diameter, radius, um, because that deals a lot with circles and angles and such. All right, let's drop off this stuff. Maybe sell it off, actually. Let's go ahead and get some emeralds. We've got a lot of people and not a lot of beds, so these are going to be a lot of tired people. Looks like jobless people, maybe. So for now, maybe we should just build... Yeah, let's do that. Because um... even though they are just fake people and, like, you know, this is all... Whatever, let's still at least feign some interest. There we go. Like, where's the dirt? I saw dirt the other day. Right, the cool thing about this is... Yeah, let's just see. enough. It's okay, let's go grab another one. See, already they're finding that. We can also use a shovel to make that into path blocks. Like a single path running down the middle. Wait, where was I? There we go. Whoops. And you'll leave some poison, or what is that? Poisonous potato. Alright. Ah, that was a horrible miss. Oh, well. okay. oh and anyways, what we're going to do on this episode of The Two Taboos is we're actually going to put up some signs about what I might actually know what I'm talking about and what I probably don't know what I'm talking about. Just to kind of clarify, and that's a good thing to do. Like, I mean, that's what LinkedIn's great for, although it's also scary because there's a lot of information on LinkedIn and that's usually where... A lot of, you know, cyber criminals will try to go first to get information. I've been a, a victim of spearheaded campaigns quite a few times, actually. So, oh, and I get, oh, that's right, those things break. Okay, so now, uh, do, 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 there's your new homes. But there are your new homes. Oh. That's right, I'm using the shovel so it goes extra quick. <laughs> mm. 
Actually, I don't want any gravel here. What is this nonsense? The beach, a little bit of sand, that's fine. And actually, let's use this up so we can gather up the gravel anyway. Sorry, getting a call, which most likely is a spam call. I usually don't answer numbers I don't know. Now, it has the same area code as my old hometown that I was just at over the weekend. But still, that's even more reason to be suspicious, because what the scammers will try to do is uh, they'll try to... Alright, we'll just get rid of the potatoes, and then we need sand. Actually, do we need sand? You know what, whatever. We're actually not going to even have sand here. <laughs> Let's make it all dirt. some inventory. We were working on the temple. We can go ahead and put some of those slabs back. Oh, let's go ahead and path the rest of the way. Wait, what just lit up? Oh, are those turn on because it's nighttime? Do they not turn on during the day? <clears throat> Interesting. No, they have to be on during the day. This just, like, looked like it appeared, though. That looks like... Yeah, this is like a torch over here. Okay. And... Water. It's not the right way to do it, but that's how I'm pathing. I gotta make sure there's no people there. Alright, so let's go drop off some stuff. So he's on the lily pad. We're gonna keep leapfrogging. Go on the path. There you go. And then we'll figure out how to get the water around it. So, like, if you're riding on a boat, get around. I mean, as it is now, you just gotta hop out, break your boat, and jump to the other side. It's not that deep. And then I don't know what that deal's doing over there. It's just in the water. Uh. Oh, it's a kid. I just saw a floating head. I don't know, go ahead, you can explore. It's totally not dangerous or anything. Um, oh wait. So now you can't find your path. Ah, oh, jeez. Actually, you know what? Oh. That looks like a person that just figured it out. Now you. There you go. There you go. Okay, okay. So, now you. Give up on that path. Recalculate. Recalculate. Step on the pads. It's fun. They're like little fidgets. Okay, whatever. The other guy figured it out. Let's go see who all's sleeping in the bed. And let's get some wood. I know I just dropped off some. Let's see, this, this, and this. Actually, wait. Does it should it be jungle wood? I'll take a couple of all of it. Some sticks. That. Let's make some sticks. Yeah, because I'm gonna make some jungle signs. And then 
Some spruce signs. And we'll do 30. Okay. And basically what I want to turn this temple into is like, yeah, the highest point will be a memorial for people that have passed away. Um, but... The majority of it is going to house the information that we talk about in these videos. So that, like, if somebody wanted to get, like, a brief summary or catch up, they could just wander in the temple and then I'll make this world available for download. And then they'll have all of my work written down. Not even mine. Like, a lot of this stuff is just compiling other stuff that other people have done. Like, I look up a lot of articles and a lot of things and... I actually mostly just, like, websites. Read documents from... Ugh. Ugh. Alright. So, yeah, because I think all of this is jungle. Yeah, see, so. <laughs> Rosetta Stone, nice. Learning other languages, that's something that I really need to figure out. Saudi Arabian, Spanish, Chinese. Oh, that's why I have this here. Okay, cool. So we've got this, like science experiment going on there, that's fine. Let's go ahead and get some more blocks. Ooh, that's tempting. You know what? Let's do it. You go over to these columns of illumination. Oh, and then we need... Let's get some of that dirt. Yeah, yeah. Also leave some emeralds here. Okay. Oh, sorry. I'm thirsty. Hmm. So let's see here. So you're walking up. There's all this stuff. Hmm. I mean, first and foremost, it's going to be like... So now, is a complete column, and it's going to illuminate this whole building, but we're just going to... Uh, let's see. Yeah, I don't like that, it's not... Okay, my... Education... History. Hippies. Yes, yes. My education history. Boom. And then we're going to have... Oh, now I need an item frame. And a book. Let's so have a book. Junk drawer. Well, let's see. Now I have... Wait. Ah. Actually, cool. Let's leave that there. Just remember that that's a thing. Alright, so we got an item frame, we need a book. I guess the signs can be different wood types. So my education history, and then let's go get, I think there's a lot of book supplies in here. Or just actual books, there we go. Okay, so. So, preschool. Let's see, how do I even want to... I could just do this a single line item. Busy bees. Which is more like a daycare. Like, I mean, we, we learned some stuff. We did some singing, some songs, and... Um, we played out in the playground and see busy bees, but it was a very religious, like Christian thing. I think we sang about Jesus. We were right, ac we were at least right across the street from uh, the Darren Patterson Christian Academy, which was a Christian school, and that was weird because it was like there was a whole group of people that we never even knew. In fact, I wonder if that was just like grade school up to high school. Anyways. 
So preschool and then grade school, grade school. Avery Parsons. Now this is kind of bad because it's like giving someone like some doxing information. Like if they wanted to impersonate someone that grew up where I did, they could just be like, oh yeah, I went down on to the Avery Parsons Elementary. But all you got to do is look up like elementary school of a city or a town and then you can see what it was. But anyways, just showing that this is what public education in America was. So um, elementary and then... Actually, I should put in parentheses. Or wait, can I do that? That might look okay. All right, preschool, one year. There we go, busy bees. Grade school, um, five years. And and we can actually, in fact, let's just go ahead and skip to the good part. Um, I mean, I could elaborate on what I learned in all of those, but like now, what's fair? Oh, actually, I mean that is important because that understand that lets people understand what my generation, or at least the people that went to these schools, which isn't that very many, um, learned, which is supposed to be standardized across all of Colorado. So this is Buena Vista, by the way. I mean, so for anyone who doesn't know, but. And it doesn't even really matter. Like, I'm, I'm, yeah. It's not that hard to find that stuff out. So, let's see, middle school. We'll just leave stubs for these for now because I really want to get to my college classes, my higher education. Middle school. Actually, it was just Buena Vista Middle School. BVMS, I guess. Oops, no. Okay. High school. <laughs> Take the test high, study high, get high scores. That's not scientifically proven, but at the same time, it kind of, it's not proven, but... It was observed, actually. My ACT score was higher. So, eh, you know, take that with a grain of salt or whatever. There could be. And actually, no, let's, let's address that right now. Like, there could be a number of factors. But honestly, I did feel like I got better sleep on the, the, the sober testing, the proctored one. I went, I think stress, though. Like, I think that's the main thing. It wasn't regardless of smoking, bud. Like, it was, I mean, I think a lot more laid back of just like, oh, I already took this test. I don't need to worry about it. And so when you go into something all nonchalant like that, you get higher scores because it allows you to look at the problems more logically and be like, okay, you know, whereas, and I, I know this for a fact, my poor uh, sibling struggled with um, stress-induced, I don't know if I should really say that, sorry, well, the cat's already out of the bag, but stress-induced, um, or maybe it was her friend. Anyways, it was stress-induced test-taking anxiety. Like, it was anxiety linked with with test-taking. Like, being like, okay, this is your future. Like, this is important. This is blah, 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 blah. And, you know, and it, it helped, like... I smoked a lot through high school. Like, and I was really relaxed in a lot of things. I was also doing athletics, too. And so that, I mean, being involved in sports... It really does help you with your physical and mental health because the more endorphins are being released from your physical activity, that's re um, relieving your brain of stressors or providing that relief of like, because there's always just like stressors. Your body's constantly like letting you know. And again, I'm not an expert, but I mean, like I've just, I do know a little bit about um, chemicals, like reward chemicals, like um, you, more like addiction sciences and stuff. Let's see. Um... Okay, so even in high school, well, okay, actually, let's just go ahead and do this. BVHS. But also, 
ampersand Colorado Mountain College. Crimes cocaine <laughs> college. Okay, so and really anything talking about drugs is PG thirteen. And I try to and I basically imply that all of my videos are PG thirteen because it's not made for kids. I never check that it's made for kids. I do think I'm gonna make another channel for kids education and entertainment, but that's gonna be a completely separate channel. I do not want them being like Oh, well, what's this other video? And if they just happen to be in some, one of their parents' signed-in things, then what was the point of saying, is this made for kids? Like, you know, so... Anyways, so Colorado Mountain College, and then the actual class list. So let's go to... So that's good. So... CMC. Alright, so I took... And I got good grades in all of these except for one. Statistics... Western Civ. Western Civ was really cool. It talked about like um, Greek and Rome and like the, the that type of building which inspired a lot of our government buildings here in America. Let's see, Western Civilization. We'll do Civilization. Just so like Western Civ, some people might not know what that is. Alright, and then um, so let's see, Stats, Western Civ, Public Speaking which is important like being able to get over that anxiety and keep your focus keep talking um, it's harder when I'm standing up and I'm giving a it, which is weird because like from a from a biology standpoint like your your lungs you're able to fill I mean that's why if you sit up straight um, public speaking but like standing you should be able to speak a little better because your lungs are able to fill up with air more um, but you're also having to project that farther and I do. I give public speeches twice a year on average. Oh, wait, no. No. Two to four. There you go. Because it's usually two per semester, and then some semesters I don't. But anyways, two to four semesters, or two to four every year. And to the first two are the groups of maybe 50 people. And then the second two that correspond with those, or the second one that corresponds with those, um... It's like a group of five to six hundred people. So still not like insanely huge, but it is important. So public speaking, um, English composition. And this was actually taught by the guy that taught this was also the prison reintegration specialist. So we got some additional insight into like humanities um, composition and uh, sociology. English composition, and this is throughout the year, so I mean, this is like, let's see, we're already at what, one, two, three, four classes, that's a full load in college, so I'm thinking, well, I think my last semester, I only had like a weights and games, and then I had a bunch of free periods, I think I just had free periods all through that, <coughs> but it was messed up because I was taking night classes at CMC, so... My evenings were spent in class, and then my days were spent going to a class, then having some free time in between, so I'd like go cruise around town, go play hacky sack with my friends or whatever. We often didn't have free periods that lined up, so then it was like, you know, uh, we kind of got a little scattered there. So let's see, statistics, Western Civ, public speaking, English composition, music appreciation, which this one I did not do good in, which was embarrassing because my family is pretty big in music. And it was taught by the conductor of an orchestra that my mom was a part of. And so it was kind of embarrassing for her. <laughs> all right, but I think that's all I had. Stats was an important one, too. Like, statistics, that's how you can make better... De it helps to make better decisions when dealing with things like in politics. Because, okay, and this is a great example. So the immigration issue, they're talking about, you know, like, they, they throw out these numbers, which, I mean, the numbers are true... But then even skewed. Like, so Elon Musk, so I'm a fact checker on X app. I'm one of the community notes people. 
And so I get to read these things and decide whether it's good evidence or not and why that is. And that's like what you need to do with everything in your thinking. You always need to be able to think like, okay, well, this is either good logic or bad logic. Or it could just be just weak, weaker or stronger. I mean, it doesn't even have to be like all or nothing. In fact, it should never be all or nothing. Like only the Sith deal in absolutes. And notice I said only, which is an absolute in itself. So that's always kind of funny. But like, you know... And it's not that you're evil if you can only think in black and white, but it's dangerous, and it's accidentally dangerous. Anyways, we can get off on a whole episode of that. But So music appreciation, those are just the classes there. So then, um, uh, bachelors of science in applied... Computing technology. I should put my GPA, my average. I mean, ugh. like high school was all honor roll. It was never straight A's. I don't think I got 4.0s ever. I think I got like a 3.8, 3.9, stuff like that, or even 3.5. But it was still, it had to be 3.5 or higher, I believe. Like, you could only get one or two Bs. I don't think I ever got a C, except for maybe, like maybe one C in high school in, like, Metal Shop or something. Like, if I was just screwing around. But, no, I honestly think that even that I might have just scraped by, with a, like, a low B. Um, but I could be wrong. Like, and that's fine. Like, grades, you know, they can... They're only indicators of that snapshot in time. That's where you were at, at that point in your life. But this is what I had before I even went to college, was that CMC stuff. Like, that's all what I did in high school when I was still, like, 18 years or, or about 17 or 18. In fact, I, yeah, I was pretty much 18 for most of the school year. Uh, so anyways, um, and what this entailed, whew. It was, like, where do I begin? All right, so let's see. Freshman seminar. I don't even remember what it was on. It was, um... <sighs> freshman seminar on... I'd have to look it up, but I want to say politics? Or no. Like, ah. I was trying to take classes with my girlfriend at the time because we were like high school sweethearts and we and actually I waited she was a year behind me so I I lived in a trailer between I took a gap year in a trailer building houses and working at a ski resort so like yeah it was all right uh, let's see freshman seminar on I'll just do freshman seminar I don't remember what it was on we'll leave that blank it wasn't hugely impactful now like current world problems this class was required to have a degree from CSU. Current world problems. Oh wait. Um, sorry. College. Let's, let's label that. Because we've got middle school, high school. And then we're actually going to do another dash. <coughs> CSU. And then community college. Because that's one thing Biden wanted to make community college free, or at least the first two years. And I want to say he did, or it is a thing now. I don't know. And see, now I'm afraid to say anything. It's like, I don't know for sure. Don't. Don't quote me on this. Look it up for yourself. I always encourage people to fact check what I say. Definitely. I mean, you still should be nice about it. Don't be a prick. But like, you know, you might be like, hey, actually, this, and I'd be totally fine with that. I would be totally fine. Because trust me, I do it a lot in my day to day. I debate a lot of things on social media. Oh my gosh. So that same lady that was like, she was fear mongering for the thing that I got in trouble for trying to speak on that I don't have much knowledge on. And that's fair. I don't, I really don't. Um, anyway, so that's actually the, it for this one, but I'm going to continue to make this list. Let's see community college. Let's at least finish this out. And I think I have like, uh, another minute, maybe let's see where we at. 
or 10 seconds. All right, so community college. <coughs> Excuse me. So this, the reason I put, I wanted to put that is because I was doing this while I was still in high school. In fact, we'll put concurrent. Usually that's only something you hear when you're getting sentenced or someone you know is getting sentenced. Concurrent with high school. Because we didn't have a senior English program, so we had to take um, English composition, which was great because that was um, transferable to a, a real college, or to college. So, taking the community college class, and it was paid for by the high school. I got all of these classes. I didn't, or maybe I had to pay a little bit, but it was super cheap or even free. But the high school paid for the um, English composition, and that's a requirement going into most colleges, like CSU. I'm pretty sure CU did. Either you have to do like a language or, no, I think you have to do both because you have to do English and grammar and stuff. And that's what that was. We wrote stories and he graded us on how we wrote our English. So anyways, ta ta for now. That's all for now. But like, yeah, that CSU, the Bachelors of Science. And that, in fact, I'm going to spell that out too. Bachelors of Science because I don't want to BS is like bull crud um, and slang, but yeah, college, went to Colorado State University, so I'll have to write that out, and then Bachelor's of Science in Applied Computing Technology. So not even computer science, and that's one of the biggest things. Like, Even though I did take like 75% of the, the classes you would take for a computer science degree, it was still a very big divide. It was more for IT and system administration and stuff like that, like managing, and I even took a business, I had a business minor in business administration. So it was like, uh, um, with a focus on international business, actually. So that's why I like, and I, sometimes I'll throw that stuff out there when I'm debating things with people, with strangers online, but because they ask like, oh, what makes you an expert? I'm like, and I'll even start, but like, well, I'm not an expert, but I took this class and this class and this class. Uh, we were talking about um, Trump's felonies for um, his felony convictions, 34 of them, for hiding. Well, actually, no, that wasn't even the one. That's separate. But by inflating the value of your properties, you're defrauding the banks. And depending on how much they use that information, because see, there's the caveat there. It's only as dangerous as the bank allows it, because if they're setting interest rates for other bank customers based on what they can afford to lend out or what they're seeing back in returns, because it's all very closely linked to the quarterly reports and the annual fiscal reports. So... I'm just saying it's relevant. It's worth concern or like looking into. And that's why I trust the courts being like, well, hey, wait, he broke this law and this law. Okay, so mm, that's not a good thing. He should know that if he's a businessman. Now, granted, that's tough because knowing everything about business is, it's really hard. Like, and I'm a very amateur about that. So anyways, I'll leave you with that. Hopefully I don't violate any more things, but I do want you to know that all of this is opinion. It's all speculation. I'm just musing here. I will quote things or say things that I feel more strongly about. And if it's about programming and stuff, you can test it really easily and see whether it works or not. So I love that kind of like, yes, this is true. I know how to do like certain encryption algorithms and I can uh, prove that on my uh, tutorial. So, which is actually, wait, before we go, let's look at that. Where is it at? It's almost at 50,000 views. Let's see. I know that's total vanity there, but it's exciting because like having something like that viewed, although a lot of it's probably just, well, no, and actually a lot of it is more people that are wanting to get into computer science, like programming. Sorry, my phone's really slow, but um, this is exceptionally slow. I feel like I'm getting a lot of notifications. Huh. Okay, here we go. Da, 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 da. Ah, no, stop. <laughs> it's lagging. Let's see. Code in game. And I'm going to put this in my descriptions. <clears throat> yep, that's what it was. It was a Snapchat notification. I cleared it. And Snapchat's like, hey, are you sure you didn't want to see this? Wait, where's the views? <coughs> All right, I'm not seeing the views on my phone. That's okay. So, anyways, it's like up uh, over 41 or 40 three or maybe even 47,000, but I'll check. So ta-ta for now. I will see you in the next one. I might jump into some more Dark Souls. I'm getting pretty far in that. So, And I need to go back and make a new Elden Ring character. I got the day off, so I'm going to be 
<laughs> Sorry, YouTube. I know you're just investigating me for violating stuff, and I apologize for the violation. I don't agree with it, but I, I, um, I petitioned it or appealed it, and then they still said no. And I did use a lot of buzzwords there at the end of that last episode, so I'll, I'll try to be better about that, and I'll be more careful. So, ta-ta for now, because I really appreciate that, how YouTube lets me do all this stuff. There's my, there's my um, niceties, and it is genuine. Like, I got, like, terabytes, I want to say, of stuff up there right now. Uh, although I do subscribe to Google Tools, so, I mean, I am a paying customer now. And I'll get YouTube read here sooner, TV, because I want to start listening to that music in my car. All right, see you in the next one.